So just like any other project, you want to make sure you have the tools for the project. For this one, you're going to need a torque wrench. Um, you're going to need tape, measuring tape. You're going to need a um, safety glasses, a pencil, and a stud finder, and a ladder. You're also going to need your instructions. And then the first thing I do um, is lay everything out and do an inventory. Make sure I got all the parts I don't need that should be in the box. This is extra, but if you can get helpers, that's always a, a plus. And then the next thing I do is um, trying to get a feel for um, how the boxes are. are I'm going to rearrange them and how far I need to put um, the rack uh, from the wall to make sure that they fit in the configuration I want. And I'm going to use the wall as a support to make sure the box doesn't fall and just extra space. I'm going to use that wall. Another thing I should have said at the beginning is that when you're taking the stuff out, make sure you don't rip the box because the box has a, a template of how far the screws should be. So that's very important. And this is what I'm doing right here, just cutting out the template so I can get the um, measurements. Here, I'm just trying to find out where the studs are and where I'm going to start um, measuring from from the wall. So like I said, I'm going to use that back wall so the, the boxes have no way to fall. But also adding a little bit of space to the rack so yeah now you're gonna need a, a lot of tape just to keep that template up and then um, always uh, the first thing to do is pre-drill pre-drill on um, your holes so you don't you don't just start um, trying to make the big hole for for the screws um, and that's all in the instructions that tells you the size of the pre-drill I hear I measure like three or four times that I, I wanted to make sure that my my uh, distance was correct for the screws. Once you start making holes in the walls and um, and then cracking into the wood. Um, so that's I did not want to uh, have to do it uh, multiple times. So I found a discrepancy between the template and the instructions. So I just used the template. I went off the template. I think there's a, a few inches um, difference. I did find a second discrepancy on the instructions. It said 30 minutes um, for installation. I think they meant 30 hours. <laughs> it did take me two days. I don't know if it was just me, but I did measure a lot and I took my time. Um, also, you, uh, the last step is just to make sure that everything's balanced. You know, before you don't want to torque it all the way. Make sure it's loose and make sure it's it's um, leveled, and then you tighten it up all the way, all your screws, so it stays fixed. So yeah. So this is the final product. As you can see, um, fits really nice. Um, when I was saying use the wall as extra storage, you can see the boxes, there's no way for them to fall and you add an extra six inches or so. So yeah, really nice.